I start with the same dress pattern for almost all my dresses. Changing the neckline is the easiest way to get a new look. Hi, I'm Angela Wolf, and we're back to that little black dress. Another idea for the neckline. In the last lesson, I showed you how to turn it into a V-neck. What if you want a scoop neck? I would do the same thing, starting at the top. Again, don't adjust your shoulder, or else you have to do the same thing to the back. So I'm just going to make this more of a curve. I got enough lines on here, hopefully you can watch. So it's a curve instead of the V that we did last time. And I would change my facing the same way. Here I have my facing. See it's a curve now instead of a V. My facing looks great. I have fusible interfacing on here. Now this time in the last lesson, we used stay tape to keep, to make that a, just a really good crisp V. This time we won't. I'm going to stitch with this garment side down and ease in this extra fabric. You can kind of see how the body of the garment has a little bit more than the facing. It's only because this facing stabilized this. So let me show you what to do at the sewing machine. I'm just gonna do this from the shoulder down, but you would do this for the entire facing from the back all the way around. Don't worry, in a later lesson, I'll show you how to work around the zipper. And I'm stitching here with a fourth inch seam allowance. Again, if your pattern has five eighths of an inch, just trim it down to a fourth before you even start sewing. It's so much easier. Going around my curve. I'm easing in that fabric underneath. I'm gonna stop here for a second. If you get to the other shoulder seam and you have a big gap in your fabric right here, stop, rip it out and start all over because that means something did not match up correctly. Your shoulder seams have to match perfectly because otherwise when your facing folds over, you're gonna end up with a really funky thing going on on your dress. Okay, I'm just gonna stop at the shoulder. So here I have, this is the circle, or like, you know, a scoop neck. I have it stitched. See on the other side, I'm using a large stitch so you can see what I'm doing. Because I used a fourth of an inch seam allowance, I don't have to trim. So now I'm just gonna go press. Press this to one side away from the garment. So I'm pressing to the facing. Again, go around to the middle here. Be see how I, because my seam allowance is so small, I don't need to put little clips. I don't, a lot of times patterns tell you to do little snips here with your scissors. If you have a small enough seam allowance, you don't have to do that. Again, I'm using the clapper to hold this fabric. This fabric needs to stay towards the facing because then we're going to do what they call understitching. And back up to this shoulder here. Okay, now go to the right side of the garment and just see what you have. Make sure there's no wrinkles. It looks really good. Get one more pressing here. Again, my seam allowance is going towards my facing. If you are using a nice fabric, you would definitely want to use a press cloth. I know I mentioned that a few lessons ago, but in case you missed those, you're gonna need a press cloth, otherwise you'll end up with little shiny marks on your fabric. So here I have, this is my good side of my fabric, this is my facing. Everything is pressed towards the facing. So I have a few options here. Let's go back to the sewing machine. Slide my fabric in here. I'm going to set this down, the needle down, and then I wanna lift this to show you what I'm stitching. I'm stitching along this edge here of the facing, and I'm stitching in closing that seam allowance. Go all the way around. I'm gonna stop so you can see this is how close I am to here. See that? Let's keep going. Now you're gonna do this all the way around the entire facing. Keep going. I'm going really slow because I wanna make sure that this line is nice and straight. 
and I'm enclosing that seam allowance. Okay, that's far enough. Let's see what we have here. But you can kind of see, see how that just folds to the back like that? So let's give it one more pressing. There's one more thing I want to show you here. I'm going to press this really nicely. One thing with this pressing, and if you can't see it here, I'm, I'll bring it over to the sewing machine, but the seam is actually folded towards the back of the garment. You can't see the seam at all. Let me lay this flat and see how this turned out. Of course, I need to press this a little bit more, but so you can't see your seam at all, and it folds in perfectly. So that's a really easy way to do your neckline. So you can change your neckline to a V-neck, a scoop neck, sweetheart neckline, one basic pattern, many different designs for the neckline.